Hey guys, my name's Guy Tillon from Bondo Harvest. We're always diving, surfing and cooking outside and generally just loving the Aussie outdoors. So with our friends from Samsung, we put a shout out for your favourite international dish and we were blown away. We had over 180 comments from you guys and it was so hard to decide what we're going to do. So today we're going to make shakshuka. This is suggested by Cassie Cameron. It's going to be awesome and I'm going to make an Aussie Bondo Harvest twist on it. Alright look, so shakshuka is something that I've wanted to do for a while on our channel and um, I'm pretty stoked that you guys mentioned it three or four times. So I'm not going to play with the base flavours too much purely because it's been perfected over thousands of years and I don't think I have the street cred to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to my local fishmonger and what we're going to use is these beautiful fresh Aussie King Green Prawns. Man, these are my favourite, some of my favourite produce. King green prawn, super sweet, super plump. Thanks, legend. All done. You. Let's go cook. I mean, look at the day. How's this for a winter? We're making uh, shakshuka. That's the Bondo Harvest twist on it. And this is the Aussie twist on it. So we've got beautiful Queensland king prawns. They don't get any better than that. We've got some epic macadamia nuts, obviously local to Australia. Um, that's going to give you a really nice crunch, really nice sort of Aussie flavour as well. Um, so the first step is we're going to dice up some onions, some peppers, some chilli garlic and we're going to fry that down until it's soft, just in a little pan. So traditionally they use like a heavy cast iron pan. I actually don't own one of those so I'm going to go this beautiful little non-stick. Um, it's all going to be cooked in one pan. It's going to be super tasty and the idea is that you mop it up and you eat it with some really nice crusty bread. So we're just going to dice that onion nice and finely. Straight down. I'm going to use probably a quarter of this pepper as well. So I've got some garlic, some chilli as well. So the idea is this is your base for your shakshuka. I'm going to cook all this off in some coconut oil. Um, one, coconut oil is a little bit healthier. Two, it's uh, super tasty as well. It's definitely not traditional, but I suppose that's another Bondo Harvest twist we're putting on this one. So you're going to throw your pan on. You want it medium-high heat before you uh, start pan frying your stuff off. So once that's sort of got a bit of heat in the pan, we're just going to take our peppers and chilli. We're going to add about a teaspoon of oregano, some cumin seeds again, about a teaspoon. If you've got powder, that's going to work fine. I've got some smoked paprika here as well. All right, so while that's sort of frying off and softening down, it smells so good, we're going to peel our prawns. So you twist the head off. So the shell's coming off all the way around. You know, you're just left with that beautiful, sweet prawn flesh. And then the tail, just give it a little squeeze and just pull it off. All right, so that's what you're after. Yep. All those peppers, onions are softened down nicely. So what we're going to do is add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. And they're going to add some diced tomatoes as well. I've just got tin diced tomatoes here. Just give that a little mix through. So that'll be sitting there simmering away. You know, flavours developing for probably about 10 minutes at the most. All right, so that's what you're after. You know, it's nice and rich. It's reduced down. You can see everything sort of come together. It smells amazing. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to slice up some kale. Just going to add our kale in there. We're going to wilt that down. Alright, so I'm just going to crack one egg in there. You know, just give it a little, little space. And you can see that cooking already. Now get your prawns in there. They're not going to take long, but I mean, eggs don't really take a long time to cook either, so they're going to cook about the same time. I'm just going to flip these over, just so they cook on the other side. You know, you can do your small pan individual portions like this, um, or you can get, you know, almost like a big paella pan and do like mass portions for you know a heap of buddies and a heap of friends. It's an awesome way to do it, you know, bread dunking in from left, right and centre. I mean it's super easy and it's really, really tasty. 
Um, Let's you know, do it. you'd be mad not to try it. Is it ready? Almost. Just waiting on that white to cook a little bit more. All right, so that's that. It's been there for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to whack it down there. All right, so they're just some toasted macadamias. Um, you know, you can use almonds, pistachios, whatever you want. The idea is it's just going to give it a really nice crunch as you mix it through the sauce. Some fresh parsley. You know, just to finish it off, some crusty bread. You know, dip it in there, mop it all up. Ah, check that out. My shushuka, made for the Australian lifestyle. Bondi Harvest Twist. That's going to taste so damn good. You've got your macadamia nuts, you know, your beautiful Queensland prawns. You've got that kale. Dunk it in there, dip it up, make a mess with your toasty bread. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this. So make sure you subscribe. Check out bondiharvest.com and we'll see you next week. Yew! <laughs>